these bullets and what, what they can do to the bodies today is just, it wreaks havoc. Well, it hurts, but I'm getting through it. I'm pushing through the pain. That was 10-year-old Michael, who was shot in the leg by a stray bullet on the way to his grandmother's house back in September. And fast forward to today, and Michael is home recovering after more than a month in the hospital. And a story you'll only see on CBS 17, our Crystal Price was there as first responders in the Bull City welcomed him back with a special parade. As the siren sounds, 10-year-old Michael is speechless. I was... Very surprised. Uh, they showed up very quickly. The fifth grader wasn't expecting Durham police, fire, and the sheriff's office to give him a special welcome home from the hospital. So happy. <laughs> all for you. It was all for you. But it hasn't been easy for Michael and his mom, Mavis. Back on September 18th, Mavis, Michael, and a friend were all on their way to Michael's grandmother's house when a stray bullet struck their car, hitting Michael in the leg. Well, it hurts, but I'm getting through it. I'm pushing through the pain. After a month and a half in the hospital, he's able to walk again with a walker, and he's going to physical therapy twice a week. These bullets and what, what they can do to the bodies today is just, it wreaks havoc. Mavis says it's also taken an emotional toll on her family. She's asking that something be done to curb gun violence. And just figure out what can we do as a whole to heal our community, heal our people, get uh, more um, programs in the community. This is AR, AR-15. Call of Duty. Uh, yeah, exactly. As for Michael, He's also calling for the violence to stop. Exactly stop shooting people. And I do forgive the man who ever shot me. I want people to be safe. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Now, the good news is doctors expect Michael to make a full recovery. Now, police have not yet made any arrest in this case. It has been 56 days since Michael was shot. In that time, 48 more people in Durham have been the victims of gun violence within with 24 of those people dying. Overall this year, there have been 823 shootings in the Bull City.